wanted to play here I've watched a few gigs here and I've just been blown away by the surroundings and the acoustics and and everything so it's an honor to be here and to play my new songs I don't know though I feel like I should be on my best behavior no swearing I should just be very proper we're in church we're new and in chapel <laughs> I've drafted in uh, an amazing horn section called the Killer Horns um, and string section and my lovely band so it's all going to be a lot bigger tonight um, which I thought was kind of fitting you know in this, this amazing setting. Um, they're songs that I've been working on for the past year to year and a half. Um, and they're very different to the, the, you know, the first stuff that I wrote, kind of way back in 2010 and beyond. Um, and they're just, uh, they're a lot more raw. I think they're a lot more uh, honest. The next song is a really, really special one. This is another new one. Um, and this is the story of me and my mum. She had me at a very young age. I think she was 18, which is very young to have a little baby. But she did her best. Um, and we didn't have much, but there was a, a lot of love, a hell of a lot of love. And I've always wanted to write a story of kind of our journey and what we went through and, and how I feel about her now and to kind of thank her for all the things that she did. And uh, Mama Triana is actually in the audience. <laughs> so yeah. my mum had a big influence. Um, she played the steel drums herself and she used to play at the Notting Hill Carnival. She was always singing and dancing around how she always does now. Uh, and I always get really embarrassed. <laughs> But she was always, you know, playing soul music and um, very much into music. So it was just part of our day-to-day -day lives. It was just a really natural thing that the radio was always on and I just naturally gravitated towards that and just got more and more into it as I got older, really. And then it just became my job and my life. So my new single, Song for Friends, is probably one of my favourite songs that I've written of all the millions that I've written over the past year or two years. Um, and I wrote it when a really close friend of mine was just having a bit of a difficult time um, and I wanted her to know that I was kind of there, you know, so I just kind of put it in a song, all the things that I, I wanted to tell her. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a really special song. It's always really beautiful to perform. It's very intimate, quite quiet and very heartfelt. Just let love heal you And I'll do the same You know I will be at the end of and there was another single coming out called The Best Is Yet To Come. Um, and that song was inspired by a guy that I see begging outside of Sainsbury's right near where I live in Stoke Newington. Um, he's kind of there every day. But one day I kind of stopped and I really took a look at this guy and I just thought, I wonder how we got here, you know, that's, that's someone's son or that's someone's dad or that's someone's uncle. Um, and sometimes it's easy to overlook these people in society who are the same as us, they've just had different paths in life. Um, so the best is yet to come is just me kind of imagining the, the story of this guy. Um, and the chorus is, is about hope really, and it's just sort of saying, I don't know, when you're at the bottom sometimes, things can only get better and the best is yet to come. Just that you got it all, the best is yet to come. Definitely looking forward to doing some amazing festivals over the summer. Uh, Lovebox is probably my number one that I'm looking forward to. Lovebox, what else is in there? Green Man Festival. Um, there's some festivals in Croatia as well, so it's going to be a pretty awesome summer.